The quick way I like to doctor up an image from the start is utilizing what are known as curves. And these are adjustment layers that, in essence, beef up the contrast, but also pull away some of the, I guess, imperfections along the way. So you can have a little more contrast and increase the shadows as well. So to illustrate this, a typical scenario is to create first an adjustment layer and we'll use curves. There's a key command for this, command M on a Mac. And we'll go ahead and add that. It added it just before our actual pixel layer here. You can add that in any specific way as well over here if you like to do it this side. Each is the same. So to adjust curves, the typical fashion you see is what's known as an S curve. And this uses all the channels in the RGB spectrum in our case here and adjust those accordingly. So here we've kind of increased the lights or highlights and then we can tone the contrast back as well to get some of those shadows back. So you'll see this S curve that gets made and you really don't have to go overboard here to get the full effects. It's kind of in an S form here, but a little bit goes a long way in my past of working with images. So obviously that's a start. And if you want to see the difference here, we'll do that. So the result is kind of a more focused image rather than maybe as shot as you see here. I would say it's a little bit sharper, a little bit more pleasant to the eyes and a little more polished. And from here you can add a ton more of adjustment layers, but curves by far from the start is a great way to begin uh, working with photo editing in Affinity Photo. Another example might be where you need to add or bring out elements in an image. And in this case, the fogginess is kind of hindering uh, the San Francisco bridge here in the States to fully come through the photo. So we can kind of tweak this as well. With, we'll see what we can do if we create a new one. Here, you can either just add in some shadows for a full effect to kind of just bring some of that stuff out, kind of a scooped look you can pull back the highlights too, but I don't think we need highlights in this particular photo. So you'll just see some of that stuff becomes more prominent at this point. Great. Okay. So you can see it's fairly simple to set up and the before and after is pretty dramatic in this type of instance. Uh, you can even start to see more details of the water below that I couldn't quite see before. So that's kind of nice. Okay, and then moving on to a specific color in the photo, you can kind of tweak your photos in such a way using uh, curves that allow you to bring out specific uh, colors as opposed to the latter of just using the whole spectrum here. So to adjust the actual colors, you can, you can use this drop down menu here, you can pick a color and kind of utilize it. I'm going to go ahead and just start with the red to show it by example here. So it'll actually doctor the whole photo in terms of shadows on this side to be more of a reddish color. And then you can bring the lights out as well. So it kind of subtracts itself back if you want kind of a cooler effect. So we might even go that route. Let's make this kind of a cool photo really amplify that flower in the middle. So we'll see what we can do with green. And blue again. There's the cooler effect. And then you can adjust alpha too. This doesn't necessarily do anything in our case, so we'll omit that for now. And we'll go back to master. Maybe we can tweak the whole photo just a bit. Maybe put our infamous S curve on it. There we go. Just subtle, very subtle. Great. And what's neat about curves is you can even add this as a blend mode over top of an image if you like. So you can get quite particular in how you actually render this effect over an image. 
In our case, I'm just utilizing it just flat, a flat layer over top of our current image. And then if you were to subtract it from now, that's the first photo. And then this is with the curves adjustment. So as you can see, a little more focus, a little more red intent and tone. Uh, but I think that brings out that flower in the middle a little bit more. So that's an overview of Affinity Photos Curves tool. You can use this on pretty much any image that needs a little bit more um, punchiness, I would call it. Uh, you can accelerate the look and feel of shadows and highlights and really make beautiful photos as a result.